It's a cold Sunday afternoon. You just finished your algebra homework and you're looking at your social media. Five likes a piece. It's not looking too good for you. You want to do something. You want to come out with a bang. You really want more people to notice you, but your parents follow you on social media. What do you do if you're too young to twerk, but mom and dad are in the next room? <laughs> it just doesn't look like... <sighs> Dancing. The answer is belly dancing. Apparently, the belly is the new butt, especially for younger girls trying to carve out a following on social media. And I've noticed this in the past few months. I go on my Instagram Explore page a lot, and there's a lot of different girls who do this, but there's one girl in particular who's kind of the queen of this because she has a specific formula that I feel like she does almost every time. Belly dance, sometimes with a friend, and then after she's done belly dancing in a shirt that probably comes up to here, Laugh as if it's the funniest thing you've ever seen in your life. And it's not just like a, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> oh, oh, that was good, funny. Why does she laugh that hard at the end? This like cute little provocative dance is so funny. I'm such a bitch. All right, so I'm on this girl's feed right now. Her name is Leah. She's super beautiful. Um, I don't want to like make it seem like I hate this girl because I don't. Like she obviously figured out something that works and she's doing really well for herself. So I say you go girl, but here's her doing what she does best. A long one. Okay, she cut off the laugh. She cut off her laugh in that one, but you could see it coming out at the very last few seconds. This is her classic trademark dance. I would know because I go on the Instagram Explore page and it shows me this. <laughs> I look a lot less. <laughs> Maybe this is why I'm not. A TikTok creator. <laughs> I look like a drunk robot when I'm doing it. Did they already watch this one? I can't tell. They're all the same. They all get 10 million views, but they're all the same. I love the variety. Musically and TikTok seems to have like invented like this. I don't think you do. So you and me are through. I'm famous. And I don't know why I'm making fun of this stuff because I made a Musically video two years ago. He was cold and he was so unforgiving. Well, she's definitely gonna laugh at the end. Yeah, she already's laughing. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. I mean, it's a good way to like do something provocative and like have guys be like, oh, she's hot. And have girls be like, oh, she can't be a bitch. Like, she's super funny. Like, she's laughing constantly. Honestly, this outfit is amazing. Oh, I thought she wasn't gonna show her belly in that one. The belly knows best. Now, Leah is what I would like to call a pioneer. And I have respect for what she does, for her grind, for her hustle, because like, she made belly dancing cool. And I like when people make belly dancing cool again. I'm pretty sure Shakira actually told me that she thinks that belly dancing is the sexiest dance you can do. Almost sensual. Sensual, most sensual, <laughs> yeah. And I thought it was sexy. It's it's very really feminine, cool. and very yeah. sensual dance, I think. I think so too, like the most sexual dance. Sensual, right? Sensual. I thought she said sexual. Yeah, yeah that's a good word to describe it. Oops. As far as I know, Leah kind of like, in, she kind of brought it back. She kind of repopularized it again because I wasn't seeing any of it until she was all over my feed. Now we're gonna get into what I think is kind of weird about it. If you type in TikTok belly dance, there's a lot of uh, Leah here, but there's also a lot of people trying to emulate what Leah is doing. This girl seems really young. And it's a cause for concern for me. This girl seems really young too. Are belly button piercings back in? Cause I took mine out. Can I put, can I put it back? 10 year old, 12 year old. It seems so innocent though, doesn't it? Cause it is, right? Would it be blaming the victim to blame these girls for like having fun on social media? I feel like if I did this at this age, my parents would be very upset. The idea of older men watching this really bothers me. The reason why I feel so creeped out about this isn't because I have a problem with girls doing whatever they want. I'm one of the, I mean, 
you'd probably think I was a hoe if you met me. The point is, when I was younger, about like 12, 13, I was on Battle.net, I was playing this game called Diablo 2 every single day, and I played with this guy every single day for like six to eight hours a day. It really felt like I knew him. And because I felt like I knew him, I was just like, hey, we should add each other on MSN Messenger. And so we did, and we started messaging each other. He asked if I had a webcam. I said, okay, you can probably tell where this is going. Long story short, he exposed himself to me when I was only 12, and I think he was, I, he was in between the ages of like 16 to 18. And the reason why it's kind of creepy on social media is because if you're somebody with like 7 million followers and you have a degree of separation from your audience and your parents know what you're doing, I think that's okay. But if you're small and you're up and coming and your DMs are open, the amount of creeps who are probably trying to message you, who are pretending to like be maybe a young girl or like a cute young guy messaging you, like it's just, it just seems extremely dangerous. I hate when old people fear monger, but it just takes meeting one crazy, crazy person for all of this belly dancing that you've been doing to... I just, sorry, I got just, I just got distracted by her ass. It just takes meeting one really creepy person for all of this belly dancing that you've been doing online to, uh... Pay off. Pay off. <laughs> You'll meet your dream, man. You'll move into a castle. Belly dancing. It's such a big thing. Look at all of it. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at the title of this. Pretty and cute belly dance of 11-year-old girl. <laughs> I think it's the cutest thing. I really, like, I think it's very cute. I'm just scared for creepies. I'm concerned, okay? I'm a concerned mother. If Twink started belly dancing, if he started showing his little thing, and Twink, actually Twink's a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass woman. I feel like I understand the repercussions of posting something provocative on social media. And also, I'm a lot less susceptible to getting a 45 year old man in my DM have like contact with me. I I'm probably just jealous cause I can't do it. Like, Practice. get me a good one. Get me one where she like, get me one where she explodes in laughter. Ooh, no wonder she has abs. This is actually the craziest ab workout. Oh, holy crap. I am so sore. You gotta laugh hysterically. <laughs> That's a good one. I think I need to take lessons from this girl. Okay, I changed my verdict. Actually, this woman is an athlete and a hero. You can tell right here. Instead of ending every video laughing, why doesn't she just end like this? <gasps> That's what I would do if it was me. Belly dance challenge TikTok Asia. Oh, let's watch the Asians do it. Okay, why is that really cool? Am I discriminating towards white girls right now? Cause like, this is kind of cool to me. I feel like they're wearing like the traditional like belly dancing dress, but like at the same time, like they're just going like this. Whereas like Leah Eloise like, oh, oh, dislocates hip, boo! Oh, I'm kind of loving this actually. Okay, give me a cape. Oh, it ended. <gasps> I actually love this. I'm obsessed with it. I think the problem is like creepy guys, honestly. Like, I don't think that like girls having fun and like doing this is the problem. Maybe if you follow your daughter on social media, she'll be like sitting there in sweaters and glasses with her calculus textbook being like, we're gonna study for 20 hours tonight. Or you might see something that is a little bit more provocative. I don't know. What do you do at that point? Do you scream at your daughter? Do you slut shame your daughter? You punch your daughter in the face, like freaking get her in the head lock like these. Oh, so you want to make videos, huh? <laughs> oh. When I was in the third grade, which would put me around eight years old, I really liked Britney Spears and S Club 7 and like just basically any girl who was a pop icon who would wear belly shirts and like do these provocative dances. And I would always like fold my shirts up so that they were a belly shirt. I'd make like a toilet paper microphone that I'd sing into and I'd do like these provocative dances. And I didn't do any of that because there was something like bad inside me. I wasn't doing any of that because I was like, 
I'm gonna be sexy for the 45 year old men. I didn't even know the implications or the consequences of doing stuff like that. So by getting mad at like an eight year old girl or an 11 year old girl to like do stuff that they see like older beautiful women doing and they want to be like that too. To get mad at girls for doing that, for to bully them for doing that is getting mad at the innocent end of the spectrum instead of putting more weight on the creepy end of the spectrum that is more likely to take advantage of and exploit that innocence. That's my final thought. Are you gonna pull that down so we can see your belly button? What? Your waist. Uh, I don't like when my belly button's showing. Why not? I don't have the confidence of a 12 year old. It's nice. No. <laughs>